what's up guys I um, have uh, made some compost tea or I'm making some compost tea here today um, just to give my garden a little bit of love um, it is made out of compost so I got compost from a local sanctuary just because I don't have compost ready here yet um, and I have worm castings um, from somewhere local as well that has a worm bin and obviously uses the worm castings um, at their farm um, and I have mixed that with food for the bacteria so I've used kelp meal and molasses um, and I put it into these buckets and essentially um, I am giving it oxygen I'm creating really great life um, in these buckets of bacteria and I'm going to put them on my garden and water my beds with them um, just so that it can feed them food it should make my soil um, a little bit more alive um, the bacteria does help create a resistance against disease in your plants as well um, so I'm pretty excited to put this on it just to give them some uh, extra fertilizer I'm gonna unplug it. I'll show you how I set it all up, uh, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in my beds. Okay, so I've unplugged it, so maybe you can hear me a little bit better. Um, but I found a tutorial online of uh, the pieces I needed to uh, build the bubbler. Um, this is just from a, like a fish aquarium um, pump. Um, and it has a bunch of different nozzles here. So I turned the two on that are feeding my bucket. So you can set up um, up to six buckets uh, of compost tea using this system. There's two tubes running um, to each one. And what I have uh, done here is uh, tied on two of these um, nut milk bags. So. Um, what you would use in the kitchen to make uh, nut milk. Um, I, that's what I filled the, uh, with compost. Um, I'll wring those out um, and I'll, I'll actually mix this back into the buckets before I feed the bed. So um, there's that. And I ordered these online. Uh, these are specially made for compost tea. Um, they are made in the States. Um, from tea lab and it's just this bubbler meant to go in here it has this ring where you can tie your bag on so it's perfect I did have to order um, these parts separate so I ordered the tubing and the plugs and everything separate um, to make it um, but yeah so everything is kind of here I have the whole setup I'm going to mix this back into the bucket and then I'm going to water um, or feed uh, the beds. So essentially you want to feed them right away um, just because now everything is alive um, and kicking in these buckets. So uh, we want to try to get it into the bed um, as soon as possible um, just so that our plants get the nutrients as soon as possible. Also um it rained this morning so my beds are already um wet which i love because then this will get deep into the beds as well um so i'm pretty stoked about that if it hasn't rained and you do want to do this then you can just um water your beds um beforehand just so that the water can go deep down um, inside and then the compost uh, tea should sink down a little bit deeper um, into your beds to feed your plants. The reason why um, bacteria is so important is because um, just like with humans um, it's really what keeps us alive so the bacteria um, stay alive because of us we feed the bacteria but then the bacteria does a lot of things for um, our bodies so in our digestive system 
and for the plants in the in the soil system. So there's a network within the soil system itself with plants. Um, and it makes complete sense to me because I spent so long studying the body that it works exactly the same. So the bacteria within the soil system um, goes into the plants. It creates a, like I said, a disease resistant barrier, just like bacteria in your body creates um, a disease barrier, um, your immune system. Um, the bacteria is so important for that. So as we know, if our digestive systems don't work very well, um, we start to create a lot of sensitivities and allergies, we're more susceptible to getting sick. Um, so just like the plants, um, we want to create a nice immune system for them to live in. So all this makes sense to me. Um, I love that it's the same sort of system um, that uh, the human anatomy um, kind of works off of because then in my head, uh, this isn't hard to understand, but uh, I just wanted to kind of break it down a little bit um, so that you know why I'm watering my plants with bacteria. It's the same reason why you should water your body with bacteria, why I make kombucha, um, eat fermented foods, all of those things. Um, it's so beneficial for you. Having the um, microbes um, in your body also helps you digest properly and it helps um, make more vitamins, minerals. Um, it's a whole system in your body and in the soil system. So uh, that's what we're trying to create um, in our life, um, in the in the planet, in the world. Hey, I don't know what she's growling at. She's very, she's very intense about um, the planet as well. Uh, so yeah. So now I'm gonna water the beds with this. All right, I'm all done watering the beds uh, with the compost. I did two of those buckets and it got me four, nope, five full beds and my upper garden there plus a side bed. Now, I did fill the bottom up where the compost was sitting uh, with the hose water as well, which I forgot to mention um, when you're brewing the compost tea, uh, you're not supposed to have chlorinated water for the bacteria. So I filled those buckets up uh, two days ago and let them sit in the sun so the chlorine would burn off. So I'm sure it's not great that I put in the hose water at the end, but it's better than not using the compost that was sitting in the bottom of the buckets. I did that and just kind of got all of the compost away in the gardens. Um, so that's pretty great. And another thing I didn't mention is that I had that bubbler going for uh, probably 24 hours. So you can have it going from 12 to uh, 48 hours. Um, I did about uh, 24 um, hours, about a full day. I did about halfway through yesterday um, and bubbled it till today. So uh, yeah, that's, that's that, pretty easy. Now my setup's all good to go and I'll be able to pull it out um, and fill with the compost uh, concoction uh, whenever I want to uh, feed my plants. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching me water <laughs> with compost tea. Um, and for those of you who asked um, on my Instagram, no, I'm not drinking it myself. Um, <laughs> oh, I thought that was hilarious. Anyway, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you can. Uh, my handle is at Whisper Gardener. 
um, and I hope you can follow along there. I share lots of nice uh, little tips and tricks, recipes, uh, stuff I'm doing in the kitchen, uh, plus a lot of whatever I'm doing um, personally, me and Fern, dogs, all of the things um, that I'm up to right now. So yeah, anyway, uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later.